or FF16. We got tons, tons of side quests. We're going to knock them all out right now. Right here. Making sure my stream is okay. Like it is. We are in business. Pick up the ones here first. Go through. Let's go here. the flowers I had you bring back to the yard? Vaguely. Is something wrong? I'm afraid so. I was able to get most of the Morgan beards to take root. Morgan beards? They rarely flower. I fear the soil here does not agree with them. However, I believe I have a solution. I can't wait to hear it. I'm going to marry the Morgan beards with morbles. I know, I know. Huh? But hear me out. Morbles are possessed of a highly choleric temperament. The fire which drives them appears to be maintained by an abundance of nutrient-rich ether drawn from their environs. I believe that by grafting a morble vine to a morgan beard, the appendage's wealth of vigor-inducing nutrients might well stimulate the flower to bloom. The endeavor, I assure you, is scientifically sound. I simply need a vine to prove the theory. All right. And all you need is a single vine from an ordinary marble. That is correct. A single vine. Easy As enough. For the marble, I fear ordinary may not suffice. But as luck would have it, a most extraordinary specimen is rumored to haunt the swamps of Rosaria. Mm -hmm. Why, a notice concerning this very creature was only recently posted on the hunt board. Oh, was there? Very timely. How timely. Well, I shan't keep you any longer. I know you have much to do, as do I. Now, where did I put my watering can? All right, please, sir. Can I have some marble? Hmm. Bunch over there. If it's knowledge you seek, we've tones of plenty to guide you in your search. People said they hate the side quests in this game. Well, you know what? Keep them coming. I want more content. Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. Your benefactors are a generous lot. Here you are. Best of luck out there, Sid. area the whispering water bring waters okay okay all right clive 
Blackthorn told me you helped him out again. It's half of that. Speaking of which, I'm actually a bit, um... Worried about him. And you want my advice? Afraid so. It's a bit of a funny one, this, but... I saved this posh knob while I was out on a mission, and he gave me this flashy ring to say thank you. So, obviously, I show it to Blackthorn, thinking he'll be impressed, only for him to go white as a sheet and quiet as a curl instead. Try as I might, I can't for the life of me work out what could have got him upset like that. And, seeing as how Blackthorn opens up when you're around, I thought, maybe... I'd speak to him again. Well, I suppose there's no point leaving him to stew. Cheers, Clive. I'll be sure to pay him a visit as soon as I have a moment. All right, I'll meet you by the forge then. You come along when you're ready. Another quest with Blackthorn. Or Blackthorn. She can't keep glory to Griga. There you are. I'm not a moment too soon. What's happened? Taya's busy working herself into an early grave. Since the arrival of her latest patient, she's refused to stop, even for a moment. I've tried offering to see to him in her stead, but she won't hear of it. Clive, she hasn't left the infirmary in days. She's pushing herself too hard. And if she doesn't rest soon, will you talk to her? Order her to her chambers, if that's what it takes. Because if she keeps this up, I fear the hideaway will be without its best physica before too long. I know better than to order Taya to do anything. But I'll speak to her. Oh, thank you. I pray you have better luck than I did. Well, Taya... Rodrigo is worried about you. And if what he says is true, then so am I. We all admire your dedication, but... You do need to rest. I will, when it's time. Until then, I'm staying put. We owe him that much. Who is he? Someone from my past. Someone who doesn't deserve to die alone. It won't be much longer. The crystal's curse has almost finished its work. If I had the tears, I could ease his passing. But without them, we've nothing that will touch the agony of those last few hours. How would tears help this man? Not my tears. Tears of mercy. Alicia, it's the only thing strong enough. You wouldn't, Tyre. Surely. There must be something we can do for him. Sometimes an easy death is the greatest kindness we can offer. You do well to remember that, Rodrigue. I... I... I will. We have all the ingredients we need for Alicia Balwam. It needs to be fresh, though, so we rarely have much to hand. I can make the draft if you can bring me what we're missing. Just tell me what you need. There is a species of venom-weeping spider that lives in the forests of Norvent, near Lorbert's Pass. Bring me one of their eyes. Preserve it as best you can, but avoid contact with the tears. I'll make sure the other ingredients are ready before you return. Thank you, Clive. I won't forget this. All right. Look at the hunt board one more time. Confirm our hunt. Whispering waters. Where would that be?
Oh, and placement. Cole said it was an army of a cash. What will happen to me? again oh, and you got better things to do with your time that remains to be seen august tells me he showed you a ring and that the sight of it clearly upset you would you mind telling us why come on mate oh, on me up ain't gonna help no one if it weren't the ring and it was something i said then i'm sorry it was the ring right it brought back some unhappy memories that's all Memories better left forgotten. Memories of what? There are things we'd all rather leave behind, Blackthorn. But sometimes it helps to talk about them. And sometimes it doesn't. Is that so hard to understand? Don't be like that. Fine. If it'll get you off my back. That ring you flashed was the work of Zoltan. We apprenticed together back in the day. You've never mentioned him before. Why would I? I ain't seen him in decades, and the last time I did, we almost came to blows. The ring brought it all back. I could tell it was one of his the moment I saw it. Bastards improved, though. More than I thought possible. That thing's a work of art. So it was a nice ring. Worth a few gill, maybe. What's it matter to you? It matters, because engraving metal's a nightmare, and I've got no bloody idea how he managed it. The fact is, I couldn't make anything even half that detailed. So what? You're an armorer, not a jeweler. I'm the Idaway's master craftsman. I'm not stealing a living at some backwater village forge. My armor keeps you lot safe and my swords keep you dangerous. As far as I'm concerned, every swing of my hammer's another blow struck in the name of our cause. So I put my heart and soul into my work. Because the curse breakers deserve better than second best. And I refuse to be shown up by the likes of Zoltan. Very well. Why don't we go and pay him a visit? Learn his secret? I doubt he'd be too happy to see me. Then just this once. Make peace with being second best. Swallow your pride. And focus all your energies on the task at hand. Keeping the curse breakers armed and armored. Provided you can do that, you'll hear no complaints from me. But if you can't... And it's going to distract you. We need to do something about it. What'd you say, Blackthorn? You know he's right. And it's not like you'll be going alone. All right. Magic. So, where do you reckon old what's-his-name is then? Zoltan, was it? In Dravozd, my old village. He won't have left. He's the chief. Dravozd, eh? That rings a bell. Not far from Tabor, right? Just north of the fields of Carava. Got that, Clive? Meet us at Dravos as soon as you can, yeah? And I'll make sure Blackthorn don't get cold feet. Good luck with that. I'll see you there. Okay. Go read some letters really quick and then we'll go. On our own terms, I regret that both you and the lump had to get all tangled up in the wicked weave of my sordid past. But thanks to your meddling, I was able—I was finally able to put rest matters that were left too long to fester. And with that finally done, might I can sit back and enjoy this new world of yours. So you're so keen on creating. One don't need a pair of eyes to see the good you've done. Here. Nice. Duty. My lord Marques, in your absence shall I watch over my new charges, affording them every protection I am able. I only ask that you do the same for his grace. Yote. Okay, we read that. Yeah. Over here. 
pick up the side quest and then do the hunt. Do this, pick up the side quest at Martha's Rest. Just a man I was hoping to see. Oh? And why is that? You remember how some of Sir Wade's guardians took up residence here after the Akashic attacked? Well, now the rest have come to join him. Seems their barracks in the Lazarus have been lost to an ether flood. Now, I don't mind having a few more brave boys around to keep them animals at bay. I ain't daft after all. But we ain't got nowhere for him to bed down. Poor buggers are having to make do with haylofts and chocobo pens. I'd build him a new barracks here if I could. But where would I put him? There just isn't enough room up here on the rock. Which leaves us in a bit of a pickle. The people we're counting on to keep us safe are living like beggars. I see. And I didn't just that lot. There's bears to think about too. There's been more and more of them turning up lately, coming from all over looking for safe haven. But there's only so many we can shelter with the room we've got. We can't keep cramming more and more people into less and less space. What we need is a new home for our new arrivals. And that's what I was hoping you might help me with. If it ain't too much of a burden, of course. Sure. It's no burden. Thank you, Clive. So, where were you thinking of making this new home? Well, I reckon we could do a lot worse than Eastpool. Eastpool? It's been a long time since I thought about that place. It was a tragedy, what happened. And if any of us could have done anything to stop it, we would have. But what's done is done. And those who lived there wouldn't have wanted the village they loved to be left in ruins. I suppose you're right. The blight might be pressing in, but I reckon it's got a good few years left in it yet. There's just one problem. A band of cutthroats have made it their den. And they don't seem like they'll be moving on in a hurry. Nasty bastards we'll they are too. I've lost some good men to their raids. Would have sent someone to clear them out sooner if my boys didn't already have their hands full fending off the Akashic. But now we've got a few more guardians of the flame to call on. I reckon it's time we made our move. What do you say? Fancy leading a raiding party? I do. Eastpool was once home to people I loved. I won't have bandits sully those memories. I'll gladly drive them out of there. And I know the men will gladly follow you. I've already shared a few thoughts with Sir Wade about how we might be able to win the place back. And I dare say he's got some ideas of his own too. Why don't you go and talk to him? Of course. All right. Alright, Sir Wade. Let's hear your plan. Sir Wade, it's good to see you well. And you, Lord Rossfield. And you. I spoke with Martha. She tells me you have plans to free Eastpool and make it your own. That's right. Though it was mostly her idea. I rather fear my men have been treading on her toes somewhat since joining us. Not to mention each other's. And then there are the bearers. Men and women who found the courage to flee their masters and sought refuge here. We need somewhere to settle them. And I can think of worse places than Eastpool. As can I. Which is why I agreed to help you win it back. That's very kind of you. I'd be most grateful if you would. With you beside us, we shall soon send that rabble of rogues running for the hills. So, what can you tell me? That thankfully there aren't too many of them. Fewer than a dozen at our last count. And rather less, thankfully. The road that leads there will more than likely still be crawling with Akashic. A small force would suffice to clear the village. But if the Akashic were to follow them in, that force could end up trapped between a rock and a very hard place indeed. I'll head into Eastpool and deal with the bandits. You and the Guardians can stay outside the village and fend off any Akashic who come too close. Make sure I'm not taken unawares. 
I can't ask you to bear all that risk yourself, my lord. The Akashic are the bigger risk. I can handle a few bandits. Well, if you're sure, I shall summon my men at once. Shall I wait for you here? No need, my lord. You go on ahead. We'll be with you before long. All right. I'll meet you at Eastpool then. We shall see you there. And may victory await our coming. Yes, sir. Okay, but we're going to do this really quick. Run like the wind.
Easy. He's pool. Surprises. I'll take that as a no. Bravo. A magnificent display, my lord. You were watching. I thought you were keeping an eye out for Akashic. We were. Put down more than a few on the road, then arrived just in time to see you slay that... whatever it was. Let's hope it was the last of its kind. Though I expect you and the Guardians will be up to the challenge, should another appear. I would hope so, my lord. Your men will be bringing the bearers who'll be living here, I assume. It might be best to send word for them to come right away. Before any other unsavory characters move in. Of course. I'll send orders for them to depart immediately. Leave it with me, my lord. All right. 
Sometime later. Home. Nice. But without masters. No. We're the masters now. Our lives are our own at last. That's all of them. And not a single Akashic in sight. Now to begin the important work of rebuilding the place. It won't be easy. Especially not after five years of beasts and blackguards having their wicked way with the place. The masonry might still be sturdy enough, but half the beams are rotted. Those that weren't lost in the fire or burned by the bandits, that is. It'll take a bit of elbow grease, but we'll see Eastpool rise again. Just you wait. So wait. Lady Hannah is buried here. If you don't mind, I'd like Oscar to join the rebuilding efforts. He mm. should be a part of this. Yeah, he should. Of course. I couldn't agree more. I'll let Martha know that everyone arrived safely. If you need anything more, you have only to send a Stolas. And we will, my lord. Safe travels. Eastpool is in safe hands. Time to go and tell Martha the good news. First things first. We'll need to get a few of these roofs seen to. Wouldn't want to be caught in a storm without any shelter. I'd better get this well back in working order. If we're gonna live here, we'll need something to drink. Oh. Well, there's a lot that needs doing, and no mistake. We'll have to fatten the bearers up a bit so they can pull their weight and actually make a difference. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So this is our new home, is it? This was the Murdoch residence. We'll see your home restored, Lord Commander. Ain't that nice. Ah, there you are. All went well then. Sir Wade told me you got rid of the bandits while his lot kept an eye out. Nicely done. And what's all this about some shape-shifting nightmare showing up? On second thoughts, don't tell me. It'll only give me nightmares of my own. What matters is, you did it. And now we can build our new village! I suppose it will be. What will you call it? What else? Eastpool. Sir Wade said it best. There's plenty bad happened to that place. But that don't undo the good that happened there. No need to throw the baby out with the bathwater. Did Wade say that? Well, something along those lines. Anyway, the poor souls might have made it to Eastpool, but their work ain't done yet. So the way I see it, neither is mine. If it's food or lumber or strong backs they need, the rest is ready to provide it. Thank you, Martha. No, thank you. You didn't have to help us. I wanted to. Go over here. I'll be taking you all to a storehouse in the bales. Leave anything you don't need behind. Know what you have to do. Oh, is this the continuation of the content? Or some more stuff. Fashion, ironworks.
Fully functional shipyard nestled the hollow of the sea grotto in the outskirts of Canberra, the high cliffs and violent tides which surround it, it effectively concealing the interior from prying eyes. It is here that Mid, along with other allies from the hideaway, strives in secret to finish work on the Enterprise, a revolutionary high speed sea vessel. Hmm. That's for later, Love. though. I fear that I must bid you farewell. As you know, our time grows short. The Lord Chief Justice's vultures are circling. We must strike now. Before we part, I want you to know that, though I may not always have been your most vocal ally, I trust you, as I trusted your predecessor. Thank you. I appreciate the sentiment, and I understand more than anyone how you feel. But is revenge really the answer? It is the one I found. And it is all that I have lived for since that day. Eesh. But what of Lostwing? Everything you've built. I built Lostwing to achieve the same. Once it is done, the village will have served its purpose. My comrades and I are sure of our cause, and we shall fight to the last, come what may. But there are those among us who cannot fight. Children. The elderly, bearers afflicted by the curse. I would place Lostwing in their hands if I thought it would do them any good. But a village home only to the frail and the infirm is not likely to stay a safe haven for long. And so, Clive, I find myself turning to you once more. Will you take them to your hideaway, that they might live even should Lostwing die? I will. Of course. Thank you. I will not have it said that I did not see to the well-being of those who rallied to my cause. The people I speak of have withdrawn to Goten's Bales, away from danger in case the Black Shields strike. Understood. I'll make sure they get to the hideaway safely. Then the last of my preparations are complete. Fare you well, Clive. And may Grieger guide us. All of us. Oh boy. Go do this one really quick. To go tense me. Then and quickly before anyone else finds them. This first. I know you're all afraid. But now it's not the time. Ugh! <laughs> 
it is. <sighs> Hopefully one more. Let's go over here. Help the refugees. to ride from here. Everyone, Quinton has asked that you come with me. He can no longer guarantee your protection, but I can. There's a safe place I can take you to. Well, if that's what the Master thinks best. Sid, none of us would be standing here today if it weren't for Master Quinton. We owe him our lives. So we ain't about to start telling him what he should do with his. If he's saying we ain't safe in Lost Wing no more, it's because he ain't coming back. And if that's what has to happen, then so be it. I only hope he can see this through to the end. That we get to see justice done. I hope so too. Oi! You lot! Where's everyone else? They ain't already left, have they? They've gone with Master Quinton. Oh, fuck! 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 What's wrong? I've just come from the Justice's Manor. We have to get Quinton to call off the attack. It ain't right. just the Black Shields protecting the place. He's got a guard dog and all. A fucking monster! They don't stand a chance against that thing. If I don't get the message to them, they're all gonna fucking die! No. We can't let this happen. Sid! Don't worry about us, you've got to catch up with him. We can't let Quinton die before that bastard does. All right. I'll do what I can. Where is this manor? Uh, it's way over to the east, through the woods. Heaven all, he calls it. Oh, Promise us, over Sid. There. Promise us you'll do what you can. I know where this is. That's yeah, a little house that we skipped by before. Too late. Oh no. Quinton, are you all? 
all right? No. But I am alive. Which is more than I can say for my comrades. They followed me without question all the way here. And they died for nothing. Oh boy. This must be the guard dog, Quinton. I'll hold it off. You go. But your comrades didn't die for nothing. They died for you. Don't let their sacrifice be in vain. I won't. Come on, then. You're no guard dog. It's a real beast that needs to be put down. Mega Fire is a bit tough. If only we'd arrived earlier. Is it over? This is. He wept, and begged for mercy. And I cut him from ear to ear, just as I dreamed of doing all these years. All my plans, Jesus. building a haven in Lostwing, freeing bearers from their chains and recruiting them to my cause. It was all for this. But what is this? Justice? My faithful comrades, all those lives lost, so that I might take another. Quinton. Master Quinton! Oh, thank Grieger you're safe. You. You're alive. And so are you. I'm so sorry. I, I tried to warn you about that thing 
And I hate to say it, but there's more bad news. It's Lost Wing. It's been flooded. What? Huh? Lost wing. My lost wing. And look who's here. They must have stolen in after we left, just before the flood struck. What if there are still people in there? Don't be a fool! <laughs> oh my god. going on here I need to get back to Quentin 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 look at me thank the founder he hasn't turned I'm going to get you out of here Welcome back to the land of the living. Is Lost Wing? The flood has filled the valley. I see. Then all is at an end. A strange way to achieve one's life's ambition. No, Master Quinton. Save your strength. 
why. All that I strove for is gone. Only emptiness remains. I... I have nothing left to live for. What the heck are you on about? You've got us, haven't you? Don't try telling me you only freed us so you could get revenge. We're more than that to you, and we all know it. I... I thought you weren't coming back. But I prayed, and I prayed, and you did. There's got to be a reason for that, right? Can't we just go back to how it was? You know, you looking after us all. Your work ain't over yet, Master Quinton. We believed that you were the right man to lead us, and we still do. Your village may be lost, but it seems your people aren't, so long as you remain to guide them. But why? After what I... Why would anyone follow me? Because we're family, aren't we? Family? Yeah. And all our comrades who went with you, they felt the same. Lost Wing weren't just a village. It was all of us. It was. And as long as we're still here, it is too. We can start again. Build a new Lost Wing. Right here in the bales. A fresh start. One life ends, and another begins. Why just a village? We could build towns. A nation, even. What's to stop us? That's the Master Quinton we know. Please. I am nobody's master. Quinton will suffice. After all, we are family. Permit me to withdraw my request. I will no longer be needing your help in looking after my people. I'll pretend you never asked. But you must be rewarded for your efforts on our behalf. You saved my life twice over. And more besides. A bottle or two of your finest red will suffice. Of course. Nothing but the best. And I have a feeling that this year's vintage will be the finest yet. If you don't mind waiting, that is. I look forward to it. They are right, you know. Lost Wing can be rebuilt. It was more than a mere village. More than a staging ground for revenge. It was a vision of how life might be. Mm. Of how we who have suffered can come to find family again. Yeah. I'd have followed Quentin to that manor if I could have done, and I'll keep following him now. Wherever that surly bastard cares to lead us. Quentin's gonna build us new Lost Wing, and I'm gonna help. Nice. We're going to do this. We'll need help. Then we'll have to f 
Clive, your timing is impeccable. It just so happens that right at this very moment, we're in need of someone with your talents. And what talents would those be? Why, your fearlessness, and your skill with a blade. I'm listening. Well, as I'm sure you're aware, when these dark skies swept over the Republic, so too did a wave of chaos and confusion. Randalar has been particularly badly affected. Many of the capital's bearers have lost their masters, or taken the opportunity to flee them. None remain free for long, of course. Most find themselves under the protection of the Fist before they get far. But the army too is in disarray, and finds itself unable to provide for its new charges. Which means, it has been looking to sell. And you've been looking to buy, to make sure these masterless bearers remain that way. Precisely. It's the perfect opportunity to free dozens more, and for an attractive price, no less. So where does my skill with a blade come in? Though we may have the funds to buy these bearers, we have nowhere to house them. So we've been searching for a place where they can be resettled. Somewhere far from the prying eyes of those who would see them enslaved once more. And we believe we have found one. Cashlock. A small hamlet hidden in a canyon. The place was abandoned a long time ago, but when the men moved out, the beasts moved in. And so we seek the aid You're of always a kind of bad though, by the way, just saying. Encourage them to look elsewhere. You'll help, won't you? Yeah, sure. How could I refuse? Excellent. Theo? If you wouldn't mind making arrangements for the transportation of our guests, as we discussed? Of course. Leave everything with me. Sounds like you'll have your work cut out for you. I will. We have an entire village to stock and furnish. Residents and all. Even if I begin right now, I'll be working day and night. So I'd better get started. Try to clear the place out before the wagons roll in, won't you? I'll do my best. You will find a village in Chedra's Thread, past Laitney's Cleft. My man there will open the gate for you. All right. Wish me luck. I'm sure you won't need it. I won't. Well, there's a lot of really great side characters in this game. friend of the Crimson Caravans. And by the look of you, I'd say you were the help they told me was on its way. Mm -hmm. Cash lock's just down there, if you'd be so kind. Get off! <laughs> 
That's all of them. That was easy. While we're at it, do this hunt really quick. over here. There they are. He rank. Easy enough. Build up a mega flare and then just AoE them down. I think is what we'll do. You're on my side, Toro. Easy. <laughs> Shouldn't have messed with the leader of the pack, eh, boy? Okay, 
down already? No. This charmer ain't letting anyone through. Why are the gates closed? Chief's orders. No one's allowed in without his say-so. Not that I'd have let you in anyway. You look like trouble. I suggest you go home. That's what I'm trying to do, you little prick. Ain't changed a bit, have you, Snotty? No. It isn't. Blackthorn. Long time no see, eh? Blackthorn. What the hell are you doing here? Well, it was meant to be a surprise, but since you are so nicely, I'm here to see Zoltan, you fucking numbskull. Now let us through. <laughs> All right. Just don't go starting anything with the chief. Yeah, I promise I won't throw the first punch. That good enough for you? Go on then. Much obliged. So this is Dravoshd. Not much going on, is there? It's a smithing town. When I was a lad, you'd have to shout to be heard over the sound of hammer on anvil. Clive, you're good with people. You speak to Sultan. Hey, you ain't backing out now, are you? There's a river of bad blood between me and the chief. But if someone can build me a bridge, then I'll cross it. All right. I'll see what I can do. I appreciate it. It'll be near the forge on the hill. It was our master's. He'd have inherited it when I left. The forge on the hill. Uh, good luck. You'll be needing it. Hmm? Why? I have some things for sale. Certainly. Here you are. Certainly. Farewell, traveller. Isn't there anything we can do to help? That's my obituary. Should be enough to last us a few moons, at least. Hotter! Hotter, damn it! Those miserable flames wouldn't melt butter, let alone iron! Pardon the intrusion. I'm looking for the chief. That'd be me. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'll bet it is. Keep the gates closed, I tell him. Well done, snotty. You're not welcome here. Get out. Before things turn nasty. Blackthorn's here. What did you say? He's travelled a long way to see you. <sighs> he has, has he? He's waiting. Down by the gates. Then I suggest... You take him with you when you leave. Didn't you apprentice together? So what if we did? Fuck! We're getting nowhere! These bearers' flames are next to bloody useless! We're never gonna be able to fire up the forges unless we can find some new crystals. I'm a busy man, as you can see, so do me a favor and piss off. Oh, and if you're struggling to find your way out, ask Blackthorn. That prick knows exactly where the exit is. He's not wanted here. And neither are you. All right. Damn. I'm going. I see why we needed that luck. Kind of an ass. Please, Chief. You've got to do something. My 
Mama, why hasn't Papa come back yet? He's helping the Chief with something very important. You go back inside now. Well, if we can't fire the forges, how are we going to earn our keep? Shut your hole. Let me guess. Zoltan told you to piss off. Yep. As a personal favor to him, yes. Well, at least he didn't beat about the bush. There'll be no talking him round. Not after what I did. Which is what exactly? If we're to help, we need to know. What turned the village against you? I left. Dravoshd. Sultan. The burden of leadership our dying master dropped in our laps. <laughs> All of it. There are two kinds of smiths in this world, you see. My kind, who are in it for the love of the craft, who labor on a single piece from dawn to dusk to get it just right. And the other kind, who are in it for different reasons. Mm. People like Zoltan, whose work is quick and cheap. The kind just to of get it done. Who shit out a few hundred blades, reap the profit, and divvy yeah. out among themselves. There wasn't a single day we weren't each other's throats. And bit by bit, people started taking sides. The artist versus the, the businessman. So, I left. You didn't have to do that. Zoltan's a better chief than I would have been. His way of doing things kept food on people's tables. True. Dravosh yeah. prospered without me and my lofty ideals getting in the road. It was a businessman. So man. out anyway. Without magic to fire the furnaces, this place is as good as dead. It depends on how you look at it, though. There's got to be other ways of making fire. We manage it in the Deadlands. Thanks to Sid's ingenuity, yeah. He saw all of this coming. New crystals were the problem, not the solution. And spent years coming up with ways of doing without. You know what I mean, though, right? Where there's a will, there's a way. What I'm trying to say is that it's not your fault. You couldn't have predicted this. It doesn't matter whose fault it is. I don't want to be the greatest smith alive just because I happen to be the last. Clive. Dravosh won't last long without its furnaces. So, do you think it's time we shed Sid's bellows with the world? The way I see it, it's your decision to make. Hold on, Blackthorn. Sid made those things for us. They give us an edge over the rest. And you'd be throwing it away. All right. Do it. This place was your home. I won't abandon it to its fate. Sid's creations were never meant to be hoarded. It was only ever a matter of time before we shared them. Let this be another step on the road to freeing Valisthea from the prison of the Crystal's blessing. Dravosht will show the world that it's possible. Wouldn't you agree, August? When you put it that way, of course. It's like hearing Sid speak from beyond the grave. Thank you, Clive. Shall I go and fetch the plans, then? I know I'm off by art. I'll be needing some help, though. Building a furnace isn't exactly a one-man job. Do us a favor and round up anyone strong enough to lug a brick or two with you, August. Uh, all right, then. And I've got a job for you, too, Clive. Finding me some salamander skin. Salamander. I need leather for the bellows, and nothing else will withstand the heat. Luckily for us... Salamanders feed out in the fields of Carava. Time for a spot of hunting, man. Yeah. Sid tried all sorts of leather to make those bellows, but salamander skin was the only kind. I'm here, okay. Worked. Luckily for all our sakes, salamanders aren't too hard to find around these parts. Let's go. <laughs>
Let's make this quick, shall we? Come on. What's this all about then? Don't know. Any trouble finding the skin? Nothing I couldn't handle. <laughs> there should be plenty. Right then, time to put these louds to work. If everyone pulls their weight, we'll be finished in no time. Sometime later. Well, I'll be damned. I honestly didn't think it'd work. But it's hot enough, all right. And without a single crystal in sight. You know what this means, don't you? <laughs> I do, yeah. Dravoshd is saved. Sorry about earlier. I, uh... I take back everything I said. That thing you built us is... An honest to God's marvel. You've saved our village. It's Blackthorn you should be thanking. He oversaw the construction. Give this to him, would you? What is it? Pet Cole's cinders. After he left, I spent years trying to eke the most out of our forges. That there was my answer. Chuck it in the fire, and your forge will burn hotter for longer. Which will do wonders for your steel. Our secret for yours. Only fair. I've always envied Blackthorn. Since the day I became chief, I spent every spare moment trying to match up to the bastard. No amount of sleepless nights at the end will mm. ever bridge that gap, though. He's a genius. Plain and simple. The man Dravosht needed. But he took all his talent and left. Gifted and free. Is it any wonder I hate his guts? The cinders would mean more coming from you. I need to forgive him first. And that's not gonna happen. Well, you know what they say? Oriflam weren't built in a day and all that. These things take time. 
Especially when they involve two geezers who hold grudges tighter than their hammers. But what matters is, Blackthorn's got that twinkle back in his eye. And I'd call that a job well done. <laughs> so would I. I reckon he's going to be at it a while yet, though, so why don't you head off without us? I'll see that the old git gets home safe and sound. See that you both do. I'll save the cinders till then. All right. It'll be a nice little surprise for him. All right. He's still explaining the ins and outs of the new forge. So I doubt we'll be going anywhere for a bit. No sense you waiting around anyway. All right. Done with that. Now we're going to go here. This turn this in, I think. A lot of side questing, huh? Oh. Something the matter, Theodore. Quiet. Wrong. Uh oh. Those are our terms. I trust that you will give them your full consideration. I shall. Thank you. Breaking a deal? Him again. Someone you know? Yes. And, uh, no. But enough about him. How did you fare down in Cashlock? It's done. The village is safe now. You made quick work of it, as always. I should go and let Eloise know. Don't let me keep you. Uh, but Clive, don't tell her I was watching her, will you? She'll only get upset. I'll explain everything once you've finished with your report. All right. We'll speak then. All right. Eloise, I just got back from Cashlock. The village should be safe now. Thank you, Clive. Here, something for your trouble. Well then, now that you have laid the groundwork for our little project, I suppose we'd better finish the job. The first thing we'll need to do is make sure our offer for the bearers is accepted. You're still in negotiations? We are. A trusted colleague has been dealing with the fist on our behalf, but things have been trickier than we anticipated. I suppose it's to be expected. This is the army we're dealing with. Fighting's what they do. But we shall emerge victorious in the end. Well, if you need any help, you know where to find me. I'm not sure I do, but thank you all the same. All right, awesome. Ooh, that's a lot of renown. 50. Ah, Clive. You wanted to talk? The man I was watching earlier, the one speaking to my sister. He represents the Silver Peak Consortium. It's one of the bigger trading houses. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've heard of them. Well, every trader in Darmechia has. They operate across the length and breadth of the Republic. And they're still expanding. They've been trying to get Eloise to join their ranks for some time now. And... Judging by her reaction earlier, I'd say she had half a mind to accept their latest offer. And you'd rather she didn't? I would rather she did what makes her happy. And I would never deny her such an opportunity. Eloise saved me from slavery. And we have striven to save others like me ever since. But this was not the life my sister wanted, nor the one she deserves. I won't let her give up on her dreams again for my sake. She freed me from my bonds. And she must be freed from hers in turn. You're a good man, Theo. I have always been grateful for what my sister did for me. And I want to repay the favor. By letting her live her own life. But each time an opportunity to do just that arises, she turns it down. For my sake. She loves you. And I love her. Which is why I want this time to be different. To show her that I don't need to be watched over anymore. 
though I'm sure I'll still need some help from time to time. I trust that I can count on you. Always. Mm -hmm. Of course. Thank you, Clive. Well then, I had better get back to work. These bearers aren't going to move themselves. That's a job for the Crimson Caravans. Hey. Okay. Uh, there's one hunt that was over here somewhere. I'm gonna do that one really quick. Forgot. Should have done that one over here. Fly Ambrosia. Damn, the skies are so cloudy still, huh? Are they just gonna stay like this forever? I hope not. Like a red chocobo. All right, let's see what you got. I've heard things That's about you, from Nick. Something tells me it won't be easily broken. I knew it. Gone, huh? Another one. Okay, I don't want to challenge that. going let's see
You would think he stops, but he doesn't. Be safe. Yep, that's definitely a red chocobo. Oh, 
Another new hunt? We just finished. And a wing? Really now. Okay. Thank goodness you're back. Taya looks like she's about to collapse. Is this what you needed? Yes, it is. Thank you, Clive. I'm loath to give a patient Alicia, but Taya's right. Sometimes it's all we can do. A single dose dulls even the most agonizing pain and all other sensation with it. It may be a gentle way to die, but it is death nonetheless. I wish there was another way. How are you feeling? Light, my dear. Drifting on waves. Good. Just relax. Let the waves carry you to a better place. Thank you, Daya. Is he dying? He's dying. I'm... so proud of you. Rip. He's gone. Thank you, Rodrigue. And you, Clive? I'll see that he's properly laid to rest. The man you helped today was my mentor, back in the Southern Isles, on the front lines of some meaningless war. Mm. I was still a child when they shipped me to their triage tents, to treat the wounded with my gift. But in such blighted lands, I was next to useless, until he taught me the true physicer's art, that is. An art we would be lost without. Tears of mercy were his gift to the bearers of the world. A respite from the agony of the curse's end. And a kindness Sid would have approved of. You know as well as I what life is like for a bearer soldier. Marched from one battle to the next, never knowing which might be your last. A commander may care nothing for the bearer spent in his service. But my mentor's gift gave the dying one fleeting moment of tranquility before the end. I've no tears left, Clive. I've seen too many of my friends taken. Something needs to change. And we need to be the ones to change it. And we will. I promise. I hope so. Nice. But Sag. Uh, how much renown do I need? Oh, I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Your benefactors are a generous lot. Oh, shit. 1635. I think I can hit that with these. After turning these in, I might be able to hit it. And the hunt. Gentlemen. I see you both made it home in one piece. Yeah, well, we didn't want to outstay our welcome. 
The whole village turned out for a go on the bellows after you left. Everyone except Zoltanes. Didn't see Ayd nor air of him. Oh, but that reminds me. I have something for you. Pickle Cinder. How'd you come by this? And you're sure he wanted me to have it? I'm sure. He didn't say so, but I think he wants to forgive you. <laughs> Imagine that. Yeah. Uh, you know I could never leave this place, don't you? Every time you put on mail, you and the curse breakers are trusting me with your lives. There's no greater honor for a smith than that. I'm not about to go crawling back to Zoltan for forgiveness, but I will make good use of his cinder. And if that helps save even a single life, then he'll have my gratitude. What was it you said he called me? Huh? A genius? And he spent sleepless night trying to copy me, did he? Sounds like I better get to work. I've got a reputation to uphold. It's good to see you back on form, Blackthorn. I don't know how you pair put up with me sometimes, but I'm grateful all the same. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. About to put Zoltan back in his place. I got the art to tell him how similar they are. Stubborn bastards. A little healthy competition should be good for him. You're not wrong. Still, it's a shame him and Zoltan couldn't let bygones be bygones. No use grumbling about it now, though. Blackthorn's happy. Or as near to happy as he gets. And that's good enough for me. Oh man, Blackthorn. What weapon you got for me this time? Ooh, belt Ouroboros. New belt. Okay, okay. Ouroboros recipes unlocked. Let's see what what it's all about. So what do I owe the honor? What's saying for you, dear? Okay. Main loin cloth. Clearly you can't make this yet. Stone tongue? Man. Get them from hunts. So but you can assume those come we get those later, so. But that's fine, we got the uh We got the recipe now that's all that matters. Let's turn these morble tendrils in. And then I'm gonna assume we get like an expansion on our bag. Uh, Sid, I uh can't help but notice that your satchel is twitching in a most violent manner. Horrible tendril. Here. It's your problem now. What an amazing specimen. The flesh positively throbs with vitality. If I can successfully graft this to the Morgan Beards, uh, when, when I successfully graft this to the Morgan Beards, I suspect the results will be immediate. I shall begin at once. Ooh, pretty, 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 pretty. Beautiful. I love flowers. Ooh, oh, so nice. Can you look at that? It's just as I hoped. Witness how the Morganbeards have taken to the blighted soil. How they bloom with heretofore unseen vigor. Why, I dare say such a vine graft would yield similar results when applied to other specimens as well. I'm glad I could be of assistance. You've not only Yay. helped us sit. You've saved us. Do you recall the extract with which I provided you before? Yes. I took a moment to distill some more, but this time with the petals from the invigorated Morgan Beards. And would you believe? Its potency has nearly doubled. 
You must accept this file as thanks for your assistance. The rest, I shall give to Taya. Beautiful. Please, sir, can I have some marble? Necessary for further increasing consumable potency? Consumable potency maximized. Let's go! If obtained a file of invigorated Morgan beard extract, further increases. Increasing the potency of most consumables, both potions and night potions, now restore even more HP while shrink. And uh, stone skin and lion heart tonics last even longer. Allow nice. me to thank you again, Master Sid. I do believe you have quite a knack for this sort of work. In this place. Should you ever grow tired of saving the realm, we would happily welcome your assistance here in the backyard on a permanent basis. <laughs> I jest, of course. Of course. Yeah, yeah. I'm good, man. You know, I got things. I got more important things to do than just plant, you know, flowers into the ground that's your that's your job you do that or... but thanks moving on talk to karen really quick oh let me tell you a story clive a little dialogue all right karen them rumors wet legs were spreading might be they weren't just tails plucked out of thin air. You see, there were a time when I weren't too particular about who I sold steel to, so long as they paid me the right price. Some women lust after blood, others after flesh, but me, I were always one for gold. And to satisfy that lust, I sold to opposing armies, stabbed my every client in the back, made Damn. myself the most hated woman in the twins. I'm not messing with but you. Well, then one day, one day I met a man who made me a different kind of offer. Then. Said he'd give me access to a realm-wide community of like-minded individuals in constant need of steel and sundries. On the condition I sold to him and his alone. Was that the first time you met Sid? Aye. And I fell right into his damn trap. He were true to his word, so I ended up being true to mine. And I soon started making the best profits I've seen since taking up the trade. And all without aiding or abetting any outlaws. Except Sid himself, that is. Told me about his plan to topple the Mother Crystals, you know. Said that with them gone, the realm would want for all manner of things. An opportunity for the likes of me to mint Gil. Why, I reckon an enterprising individual could find himself the richest <laughs> dumb in the twins. In prison That's when he had me. I emptied my stores that day and moved into the Ardaway proper. And the rest, as they say, is ancient bloody history. A dozen years on, and I'm still not the richest damn. <laughs> not for lack of trying, mind. But I can say that I have never been happier. You've all shown me there are some things more precious than guilt. Damn. That there are. So Feels don't strong, man. Messing it all up. Oh, you'll have me to answer to. We love you too, Karen. Now, sell me some pots. Thank you. Ah, it's a dangerous world out there. It is. It is. Very deep. All right. See here. You here now? Material. Use it. Old potion. It'd better all be here. Fifty six percent the maximum. You're rubbing me blind, you know. You'll not find a better price than that. Heart ton. Maybe we should get these. You're rubbing me blind, you know. Last elixir? Nah. It'd better all be here.
Let's pick up our Renown. Renown. Reward, whatever you want to call it. How may I help you today, Clive? Oh, look at all that AP. <laughs> Best of luck out there, Sid. Oh, boy. That's what I'm talking about. I can master this. Okay. Oh man, that is good, huh? Also, really like the. There is a block on the deck, though. the counterplay on this attack. So nice. We don't need to master it though. We master that, I guess. You know, people really don't like this skill. I don't know why. Okay. Lightning can be locked off. Striking damage will fix it to lightning damage. Or dealing extra damage. Charges will trigger. Got this over there. Charge damage relative to the damage dealt to trigger the lightning. Therefore. This charge damage is relative to the dealt. Might swap this out. Aging fist damage sounds pretty good.
the long ass cooldown. You know, when we're fighting bosses and stuff, I think I'm gonna go with 2.7 seconds in the long. Not that long. No. that for now. Okay, we do have the hunt. Need to do any loss weight. Loss wing is down here in the cellar passage. Okay. Continue with the MSQ. Man, this place is ruined, huh? Not looking good here. Blooded by ether. Purple. here. on. B rank. Alright.
No parry? Come on. This will show you. Nice. I got a little cheeky in there. Should have just killed him. Your work here is done. Oh, there's a chest. Okay. Now, sorry. I do a quick save. Save and then continue this. But first, I gotta use the bathroom, so I'll be right back.
Well, I ended up brushing my teeth. Extra long break, but we're going to go right into it. <clears throat> With the MSQ. And it looks like we're going to do some combat. What happens? Um, last we heard is that mid is working on her air or not airship, but her, um, her ship, regular ship <clears throat> called the enterprise or whatever. Okay. Anyway, the ironworks and a, a nod to FF 14, I think established within a natural sea cavern situated near the outskirts of old Canver. The ironwork serves as a discreet birth for mid's greatest creation. Birth with an E. Interesting. Let's go. What you got for me, game? The ironworks. There she is. I was right, Clive. My dad had it all worked out. He'd be proud of you, Mid. His writings may have helped, but this achievement is all yours. <laughs> Can we catch them? The INA is one of the largest, fastest vessels ever built. And it won't help she has the wind at her back. Any other ship would be hard pressed to keep pace with her, let alone reel her in. But this isn't any other ship. Oh? This is the Enterprise! And the world's never seen anything like my dad's engine. It certainly hasn't. Let's see what you got, Mid. Clive, what do you know of Barnabas Tharn? He's OP. He has a big sword. Long sword, rather. Only what the bards sing. Yeah. And he sailed to Ash from southern lands. That it was his mastery of the blade which won him the throne. And that his sword, Odin's sword, can sever the very threads of creation. Jesus. But don't lose any sleep over a last tilt. We'll do what we must to survive. What we must. The light! I thought this cove was meant to be hidden! Oh no. Are we found out? Mid! Company! Hey? We'll hold them off until the ship is ready. But hurry! Bullets! <laughs> Everyone with me? Oh, everyone's here. Hell yeah. Oh, the Akasha. Here they come! Oh, that's a lot of them. Big 
Oh, are you serious? Wow. Still getting used to this skill. I like the counter skill though. It's good. That was easy enough. All right, you lousy luck. Get your asses on board. She's ready to sail. Ah, oh, thank God. You heard the captain. <laughs> Clive. Whoa, 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 whoa. I thought you were dead. But, but I thought he was. What? Confounded. Then it is as I feared. Sleipnir is no man, but a creation of Odin. Oh, it makes sense. It's this, it's this horse. Wait. There is hell over them. What the heck? Phoenix's fiery fundament. Have you no normal enemies? <laughs> yeah, for real. Wait, we're gonna fight all of them? No way. Up for another round? Of course we are. Right, Lord Rosfield? My oh my goodness. The time people call me the executioner. Who was my eyes? No matter, heads will roll all the same. Mate, new plan! We follow! Follow? Swimming, are you? Oh, bugger me! Weigh anchor! Engine dead slow ahead! Wait, I, I mean, I'm gonna take all these on? There's not blood that runs through an empty space. Oh, they're not that strong. These foes will not fall easily, but they will fall. Like oaks before a woodman's axe. Good thing I brought one! It's over. Farewell. How long are we meant to keep this up? As long as it takes. Unless you have a better one. Well, I've already killed at least five of the bastards. Fuck it. Let's do the last.
stops. They don't stop. Right, Prep for it. Let's go. Enterprise escaped. Let's go. That was hype. Now, mate! All right, engines go ahead! And hold on tight! That was fun. Wow. Look at that. Oh, that's the Einhart. Iron Hayar, or something like that. Oh, still. Please, Joe. What do you want? That's quite a mess you've made. And wholly unnecessary. You are my offering to Muthos. I would not see you damaged. Jesus. Three cities of Canver. Enterprise. Now back to your stations! Every bell spent treading water puts another league between us and the galleon. I don't suppose Mid has a spare engine. <laughs> Since you rose from the grave, my fortunes have plummeted. <laughs> Are you absolutely certain of this quest of yours, Clive? The foes you face are as terrible as they are numerous. Aye, and they'd have us live and die on their terms, which should answer your question. Ah. You have that same stubborn look as your father did when he set his mind mm. to something. On the battlefield, I am but a single axe. A deadly one, mind, but a single one nonetheless. Yet what you require is a thousand, and I believe my old friend in Brandalar can provide them. Take care, Clive. I have many more tales of your father's exploits to share. And I cannot very well do that if you're dead. Again. Again. <laughs> Good luck, Uncle. And may fair winds attend you. We love you, As Uncle for you, Byron. Joshua, take care. I shall do my best, Uncle. Farewell, my nephews. When next you see me, it shall be with an army at my back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I look forward to it. Oh, careful. Cheerio. Cheerio. Uh. 
Oye. Do keep up, my boy. Well, we can't have him showing us up now, can we? We would never hear the end of it. Oh, what's this? Inside, Holy Empire of Sembrek. Oh, Dion. Where's Dion going? Rick of mercy. Oh no. Yeah, it's not good, Dion. Yeah, your nation's fallen. Medicine girl. My lord. Not your fault, Dion. Oh. Fighting out on sea? The Naldia Narrow, the open sea, blessed with mild currents and warm waters. The narrow allows for swift travel to the Dominion, Oriflam, and Stonehear. Stonehear? Stonehear? Without having to circle through the dangerous outer seas. Over here right now. I'm guessing we're making our way here. Make our way over there. Alright. Be out here. But any ship heading north has to round Zemeckis and put through the narrow. Maintain our current bearing north northeast, and we'll catch the Black Galleon before she vanishes again. What's to prevent her from circling around Ash in the south? With these winds in those waters, it's taken forever and a fortnight to reach Stone here. Mid knows what she's talking about, Clive. Let me run around. Any of us lot anyway. I say we do as she tells. Sails on the horizon. She's ours. Or there's a storm coming. Look alive, boys! Full ahead! And keep those furnaces fed! Aye, aye. Do you feel that, Jill? That All is. Lands, battle stations! That is the Black Galleon. We actually caught up? Let's see what this girl can do. Oh my god, this is gonna be crazy. Oh boy. Where one leads, so does the other follow. The bond of consciousness which joins them, condemning both to the same fate. Yet my every attempt to strike it from their hearts serves only to tighten its hold. Sever. 
Oh my god. Uh, hello? Jesus Christ. Alright, mid, you got this, right? is straight up on our ship through the maelstrom oh my god this is gonna be crazy Seasick.
I don't want to miss any chests. And there they are over there. Ah! 
Jill. Jill. You came. Get back. Oh, the hug. Clive, how did you? I'll explain later. Had. Oh, that was easy. Can you walk? Out of here, I can. <laughs> oh boy. What about the people Stand on the ship? Still. Phoenix. Are you not the dominant of fire? I see naught before me but a guttering flame. Oh boy. Right here. Are you serious? My God. In honest then. Oh, my God. Holy shit. Wait, he literally split the scene out. gonna stay like this what in the world bro parting of the red sea jesus christ can you go on i think so Holy. You. What did you do to Joshua? Phoenix? Oh, I expect he will survive. This consciousness in which you coil your feeble souls is grown thick with desperation. And thus has my master turned to my blade. The world will soon be painted in black. And all that live shall gather in death's autumn wake. Not if we remove the cause of this misery. Not if we destroy the last of the mother crystals and restore balance to the world. We're being controlled, Barnabas. Do you truly think it's so simple? Yes. The blight is inevitable. Not even the Almighty might stop its endless march. Your efforts will avail us naught. Naught, that is. But suffering. Not with that attitude. 
You must embrace the truth, Mythos. Accept your place with the Lord. Keep it. Yeah, keep it. As long as there's Take a, a chance, chance, there's a choice. True. Real words. Ever led astray by your blind resolve. Oh boy, here we go. Now, it is time you learn the inevitability of your divine fate. However much it may hurt. Get as far away as you can. Clive, no. Trust me, Jill. Trust. Oh boy. Oh my god. We don't have to do this. Oh, but we do. If only to remind you of your duty. In the short time since our last meeting, you have grown much. Yet as a vessel, I fear my lord will still find you lacking. Rise with all this fire and fury, and for what? Stopping the blight. A foolish notion fed to you by a foolish man. How dare you? You know oh my not God. of this world, nor of our place in it. If our fates were so easily rewritten, we would all be gods. you ever further from your purpose and what is my purpose mythos who are we what are the dominance the breath of the creator still warm on our lips we carry his light that we might guide the masses in his name we are but mighty acts of god we are more than that you would be nothing without what he has granted you. The power we wield is his, and yet every time we draw upon it, it wears away at our very being. It breaks us, it unmakes us, that its immaculate aspect might reveal itself. The Icon. 
It is too much for even his chosen few. Apart from you, Mythos, you wield the might of many, yet your body does not answer for its avarice. What are you saying? What, what are you saying? I am saying is that we dominance are a means to an end. We were created for you, that you might drink deep of our strength and thereby fulfill your divine purpose. Which is? Which is, yes. What is it? To feed. Feed? As you would know, could you only look beyond the walls of your prison of self-regard. As long as you choose to ignore this, you shall never penetrate my defenses. Still, you may take solace in the fact that you are not alone in your plight. The chains of volition shackle all of mankind, but there is yet cause to rejoice. For the Lord in his mercy has taken pity on his flawed creations shall see them restored to their proper forms. And what exactly would that be? Why, loyal servants to God. No. Bro, you're crazy. Manners, Lord Rossfield. They are men like you and me. Albeit ones uh, unburdened by the wills that drive our kind to madness. They are pure. They are divine. You mean to turn everyone Akashic? Not turn, Mythos. Turn back. Turn back? For too long has mankind been led astray by their clamorous wills. It is time they return to a world of quiet equality. Oh, I see. Where they might once more know salvation. Okay. Salvation. That's not salvation. And abandon everything we hold dear. We don't need your salvation. We'll save ourselves and we'll do it on our own terms. Not yours and not your gods. With every defiant expression of your will, the tighter the chains of consciousness become. But perhaps that fact may be put to use. <sighs> Clive! Oh my god. The faster it binds you to the remaining dominance, the stronger your hunger will be. Come, until it leads you back to the only answer there ever was. Mayhap not by the path my master intended, but back all the same. Ash is not far. I could freeze a path. You're in no fit state. Probably not, but I can try. <sighs> Oh. Nice, 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 nice. Don't look back. Wow, Clive bested, huh? <laughs> that means we lost. We did lose. Oh. Well, shit. Earn everyone a Kashik. For equality and to serve who? Ultima, the god. The Enterprise was clear of the gap when we fell. They made it, Jill. And they would have seen the ice. Whoa. Red 
Wait, hold on. Oh, it's because they got all wet. Hold up. This is the second time Barnabas has bested me. Powerless against him. And maybe there really is nothing else for it but to give yourself to his master. Only you won't do that. The Clive I know would never do that. So you believe. But do you really know me? If what Barnabas said was true, then... I'm more monster than man. And each time I summon the flames from within... I burn away the things that make me who I am. Do you, though? Think of what you've used that power for. Of all the people you've saved. It doesn't matter how or by whom it was granted. Only how you choose to use it. And you've chosen to use it for good, haven't you? So used it to kill. Mm -hmm. What if that's my purpose? What if it's all I'm good for? Oh. You're still that same boy I grew up with. Always so eager to save everyone around you. And yet always so alone. Because you failed to realize the one thing that needed saving most of all. You, Clive. You. You never once took the time to save yourself. True. Myself. Whoa. <laughs> Jesus. I think I might be beyond saving. No one is beyond saving. Provided they want to be saved. You fight to survive. And you survive so that you may protect those you love. Mm. It's what you do. What you've always done. And I know you're not about to change. So I'm going to help you. To give you what you need to protect us all. This burden, I'll give you the strength to bear it alone. But I'm not alone. These burdens I carry, my sins, my pain, my sorrow. I see now that they are all a part of me. Beautiful. 
life to those I love. And I will gladly bet your what a lines line. too. What a line. Until my last breath. Alright, no more screenshots. Okay, one more. I promise you, Clive, that I will be there no matter what you must become. I know. I never thought a smile could bring me. So much joy. There it is. Such a nice scene. Wow. It was about damn time. What of Barnabas? Do we pursue him? No. Our paths will cross again soon enough. Whether we like it or not. Besides, there is something we must do first. Of course. Drake's spine. The last mother crystal. The Einherja is at the bottom of the sea. Walud won't dare move on storm without her. But they know we're coming now. We'll need a plan. And a damn good one at that. Then let's go home and find one. Ash will have to wait. Back to the hideaway. Mid says Odin split the sea in two. 
She's always been partial to a tall tale. But there's tall, and then there's tall. I struggle to believe it myself. I see your uncle isn't with you. He stayed with the Enterprise. After our brush with the Einherjah, she was in urgent need of repair. And my uncle knows a shipwright in Randalar. We're to join him there when we're ready to sail for Ash. You sure that's wise? Last I heard, the place was still overrun with a Kashyyyk. Show me a city where that isn't true. Ultima's plague is spreading. We're running out of time, aren't we? We've done our best to shore up the hideaway. But I doubt a few planks will stop what's coming. Still, we'll keep at it. Every little helps, I suppose. Let's hope so. Alright, let's see the should utilities. Assuming time. Holy side quest. How do you split the sea, you reckon? I reckon we're better off not knowing. One second, just uh, typing a message out someone on discord
All right. Tons of side quests. Okay. But we're going to check out Shiva's abilities now that we have them. Ooh, Shiva channel. Okay, I think I know how I'm going to build this out. need that anymore what happens if we master oh permafrost there right We don't need that much LB, so... Oh, for an upgrade there.
Okay. I want to try these new skills out. Also, it looks like there's new stuff to craft, so I'm going to check that out really quick. And then I think we'll stop. Let's see what we got. Oh, don't tell me we've run out of Papio nuts at all. So what do I owe the honor? What's saying for you, dear? Bruh. No scratches, right? That it. Eve.
500 master. It's a lot. Um.
All right, we're going to stop here for now. Thanks for